Hi folks, uh, no preamble this week, let's get into it. Ramesh Sunny Balwani, the former COO of Theranos, that spectacularly imploded when its technology was found not to work, has been found guilty of defrauding both investors and patients. Deliberations by the jury took place over four long days and this was the culmination of a trial that began back in March 2022. The full guilty sheet includes 10 counts of wire fraud and 2 counts of conspiracy to commit wire frauds. 8 of the counts relate to investors and 4 of them relate to patients. Balwani's former girlfriend Elizabeth Holm in a separate trial was found guilty on 4 of the same counts that Balwani faced. Tellingly the jury was hung on all of the patient counts in her case. Balwani himself who was COO and in charge of the labs was much closer to the errors and omissions that took place in the labs and in the communications with doctors and patients, and it is speculated that this is why he was found guilty on the patient counts and Holmes wasn't. The indictments against the couple were made four years ago and the trials were separated because Holmes claimed abuse by Bawani against her as part of her trial. In court, as the counts and the verdict were read out, Bawani showed a little apparent emotion. We heard from the prosecution afterwards in a statement on Thursday by the US attorney Stephanie Hines where she said she thanked the jurors for dutifully navigating through the complex issues presented by this case. She went on to say we appreciate the verdict and look forward to the sentencing proceedings. Jeffrey Coopersmith of Oric Herrington and Sutcliffe who is Balwani's attorney said in a written statement We are obviously disappointed with the verdicts. We plan to study and consider all of Mr Balwani's options, including an appeal. Well, that's it for now at least. Will Balwani appeal? The sentencing hearing has already been scheduled and this is for the November 15th, 2022. Apparently, Balwani's bond has been increased from $500,000 unsecured to $750,000 secured and security has to be by either property or cash. His passport was already surrendered, but he faces travel restrictions to Northern California. Well, that's it for now. Just wanted to get the news out as quickly as possible, and I will see you on the next video. Bye for now.